I gave my cats away for you. I'm not the one, though, who can't find somebody in my own country to f*** me. Why would you ever be that desperate? Like how hypocrisy you are, oh my god. I gave my cats away for you. Ramadan, 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 Ramadan. Hey, girl gang, what up, everybody? So good to see you guys. Happy Friday. Woo! It is fa finally Friday. Long week. I almost have tears coming down my face. Ah, it's so good to be here with you guys on a Friday. It is time for a little cheese. It is time for a little butt stuff. It is a little time for Chantal stuffing her face and talking mad shit. We got a little mixed bag of everything today. The plan is, of course, we're going to watch her video. We'll start with the video. Yeah, that went over with triple cheeseburger and volcano fries. She looks like shit run over twice in this video. Love that for her. She looks lonely. She's not breaking the fast with her husband. Woo. After that, we are going to take a look uh, at a little bit of the live that she just ended a little while ago. Uh, she has some stuff to say. She loves to jump in on the drama and then pretend like she's not in on the drama and then say that things are between her and God and blah, blah, blah. But any time to jump in on the drama, she will take it. So we're going to watch a little bit of that. And then maybe later, if we still have the will to live, we'll play a little uh, games on the Twitch. I sound like a grandpa. We'll play a little games on the Twitch. All right, we'll see. Pixie, hello. Thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Praise the Queen of Ontario for her perfect vet visit. I'm so glad it went well. Bless her. Bless her. And thank you again so much, Pixie. I really I love you, girl. She did. She looked like... What What do you mean? Hey, it's Friday. If you can't do butt stuff on a Friday, when can you do butt stuff? Excuse me. Excuse me. Dame Spondu, happy birthday. Oh my God, a Friday birthday. It's a birthday weekend. Enjoy your birthday weekend, girl. Oh, have a great time. This week sucked. I want to kick something. I'm with you. Can we just get some stuff and kick it? I'm down. Ah. <laughs> hey, Tracy, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. Yay, games. I'm so. Listen, last night we tried that like rapping game. It was so much fun. It took a little like getting used to before we uh liked it but oh my god that got funny it was a great time last night i wheeze laughed a lot thanks for all the wheeze laughing y'all a rage room could it be like a chantal themed rage room could it just be like her face all over stuff and we can like rage at it i'm so down i am so down it's your birthday too catnip happy birthday to you too enjoy your birthday weekend oh my god everybody everybody with their birthdays the rapping game is awesome. The rapping game was fun. It really was, eh? The first round was like, what the fuck is this? And then, and then it got really, really fun. Oh, yeah. But, and she's stuff. 
Woo! That's what I'm here for on a Friday. All right, y'all, what do you say? Shall we get into it? Shall we get the Chantal stuff over with? And then we can go on to the game. Triple cheeseburger and volcano fries. Hold on, let me get the tab. Polar pinup, thank you for the super chat. Have a great weekend, girl. Well, hello there. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. My beady eyed self here. About to yeah, bitch, I was going to say, by the looks of it, I'm having a better day than you, and I'm having a pretty shitty day. So that's saying something. She looks nuts. She looks like a slug or like, like a worm coming out of the ground. Like, ooh, you got my food? Ooh, I am here. Whoop. And it's like worm head pops out. She looks nuts just i should have stuck with nuts janet pirate thank you for the super chat you too oh my god happy birthday have a great birthday weekend girl do you have a mukbang for you let's call this fast food friday even though in that case most things are friday for me but anyway thank you to cutlery that's the bonus Whoa. Homemade food is so much better. But you know what? I cooked yesterday. I didn't film. I didn't do a video. I don't really have a lot going on in my life. So I don't know what's going to Wow. She's not usually that honest. Like, we know you have luck all going on in your life. But every time you talk about your life, you're just so busy. And there's just so much going on. When she's depressed enough, she'll give you a little nugget of the truth, huh? Tammy, thank you for the super chat. It's your pop's birthday. Happy birthday to Macy Lou gonna happen with my channel but oh i wanted like a triple burger so i got a triple burger <laughs> all right now this fat is, behavior i think it's called sovia it's these drinks popular drinks that they make during ramadan like this has like vanilla coconut it's really delicious so i'm gonna have some Oh, Lime Jello was so good at the game last night. By the way, it was such a fun game. Um, I would like to please ask that all of my haters on the hater ass beaches come to the game because I find it much easier to write these raps when I'm dunking on someone. Um, make with that what you will. But my 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 best ones last night were definitely against hijab cheese. So hater ass beaches, please join our game. Eh. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Manic Burnt Pockets Payday Binge Fest. Oh, that's why she wanted a triple burger. Of course, it makes so much sense now. And we also have a bottle of this stuff for Ramadan. I forget what it's called. I'll have to put it in. Uh, notice, by the way, after last time of me screaming at the screen for her to get a fucking glass and fill it up with drink and not drink from the, you know, trough. Look at her getting a little plastic glass out of God. No, can you even call it a glass if it's a plastic? Look at her getting a little plastic <laughs> and filling it up with her drink. I see you, beach. Note. It's really good, though. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what it is. Okay, Bismillah. I want some now of this. Mm. Tastes like grape juice to me. So it's a lot that they drink it. Very popular during Ramadan. Okay, so these fries, I don't even know what's on them. Jalapenos, onions, ground meat, uh, beef bacon. That doesn't look good at all. That looks like someone already ate, like, like food, and that was the leftovers on their plate, and then they just dumped it into a box and gave it to her. Cheese and some kind of spicy sauce. Yeah, here we go. First plate for you. Mm. They're called volcano frog. Did you see what she just did with her head? Wait. <laughs> the way <laughs> the way she throws her head back, instead of, you know, taking like a normal size bite, she doesn't want the food to fall out. So she throws back her head to chew. That's what my dog used to do. That's what Ollie used to do. You eat like a fucking dog. For real, for real. My dog would take massive bites of food. 
throw back his little head so God forbid a crumb is wasted. And that's how he would eat. A fucking dog. Just like that. Without They're the called volcano noises. fries. They're pretty good. I like the thick cut, like the steak fries. I don't like those skinny straw fries. Like, I just find they get too cold and like hard fast. Okay, I've never. She only likes the thick fries. She doesn't like the skinny fries. Even the skinny fries are like competing with her. She's a hater ass beach to anything skinny, and that's fries included. Nixie, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, what did happen to the pyramid scheme drinks? We never even hear her faking that Yuna Mate garbage anymore, eh? We're having, I don't know if I've ever eaten a triple burger. Let's see. All right, how am I going to dislocate my jaw? Shut up. I don't know if I've ever eaten a triple burger. How would you think to order a triple burger if you don't regularly siphon into your fat face triple burgers? How am I going to unhinge my jaw? Just like every other day. Come on, this is not your first fat rodeo. Stop it. KY Mama, thank you for the super chat. Trying to get through the long work day to get to the weekend getaway with my BFF for her birthday. That's so much fun. Enjoy your weekend getaway. Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> Greasy and cheesy. Nobody asked you your blood type. <laughs> FFG's Rainbow Fries. Thank you for the super chat, ghoul. Mm. Okay. Let's try this here. Okay. Angel of Temptation. Thank you for the super chat. How do you drink something that you don't know the name of? That That's a question for a normal person. You're talking about Chantal here. You know who drinks a drink that they don't know the name of? Somebody who finds a glass pipe at a stranger's house, picks it up off the floor and smokes the drugs in it. That's who. Yeah, I don't have anything to talk about. Um, you know what I saw today and I'm super excited for it? I saw the trailer for Beetlejuice too. It's actually happening. No, this woman hates herself. Come on. Okay, the eating constantly, the mukbangs, the overeating. Da, da, da. You get a triple burger. Triple burger. Get. She's just siphoning meat and cheese into her mouth at this point. This is so, well, you know what? I, I would say sad. Sad if it wasn't Chantal, but Jesus Christ, you, you watch somebody die a little bit every day. You don't need anything that's on that table, Chantal. Fuck, a triple burger. Gosh. I want to say, can you even imagine? But like, can you imagine being this close to losing a limb and you crave a triple burger? How do you celebrate? Because you've been broke all month. You get pay, you like your payday. And so you right away eat a triple burger. That's the saddest fucking thing. And you eat it all alone. Where's your fake husband to fucking break the fast with you? Why are you even breaking the fast alone? Everything you do is alone. Is he with his family? With his friends? Why are you not invited? Because this whole thing is fake. Is that why you needed a triple burger to cope? Mm. Look at my body. Thank you for the super chat. Beetlejuice 2 comes out September 6th. She's really optimistic that she thinks she's going to last that long. Bloop. You said it. Bloop. That's some tasty meat. It's a fucking abomination. Anyway. Jenna Ortega, isn't it? Lydia, the um, one on a rider. And Michael Keaton. It's too big to eat like all at once. So I'm going to eat it like this. Don't hate me. I'm so cheesy. Of course, she found a way to make it look even more disgusting as she eats it. Oh, oh, I mean, Nemi, you're not wrong. <laughs> it is the only meat she gets. <laughs> I'm going to eat like this. It's so cheesy. 
if you're going to eat it this nasty, and like you just said, you have nothing to talk about. Why are we here, Chantal? Why are we here? Why? You don't, you don't do income tax anymore. You can't say you're writing this meal off. Why are we here? <laughs> this, this is not video worthy video. De plus. That's insane. Anyway. Also has Catherine, like has like most of the original cast. That looks like Beetlejuice is back to bees. Yeah, the bacon here is made with like beef mostly or turkey. Like at the Wendy's here, the baconator is called the beef beefinator. <coughs> Did you hear that? You fucking meth addicted freak in our community, Amber. Some people go to Wendy's to buy things, not to rob the Wendy's. Did, take them a little mental note of what Chantal just said. Purchase something at Wendy's. Didn't go there to rob it for meth money. Amber, thank you. Oh, oh shit. Not you, Amber. <laughs> oh my God. What a bad coincidence. Her name happens to be Amber, but she's a meth addicted fucking Robbie's at... Uh, Robbie's. I said I called it Robbie's instead of Wendy's. Wendy's robbing sociopath. Uh, not that Amber. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, girl. Thank you for everything that you do. And again, this is not that Amber. <clears throat> so yeah. I haven't had beef in a while. Even the meatloaf I made yesterday. Love that. And another thing, she also robbed her parents' friend's house for more meth money. Because, you know, that Wendy's meth money just went so quick. It was made with chicken. <laughs> I took two chicken breasts and ground them in a food processor. It was really good. You didn't stop it. <sighs> My God, look at the beat. It's really getting to her. She got to chug both of those drinks and ah, oh, out of breath in between them. I hate this video. Is anything going to happen? Because like, I, I could dip on this one right now. Oh my God. What in the demon? Wait, wait, wait. Everybody grab your screenshot. Hold on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give me a second, please. This is, uh, I don't know what fucking, uh, the gel we just came across here, but, oh my God, it's, it's the cheeseburger monster. What the fuck face is that? What is wrong with her? Look at that face. Look at that face. Chantal, why are we here? Ugh. Look at, she's eating like vom on a bun. That trotter is the size of her head. Whoa, you know what? You're right. Holy shit. That's crazy. Look at the size of that trotter. <laughs> what just happened? I lost my shit. Look at this face. Jerry Blast and Mocha, look at the screen. What the hell is that? Caroline, thank you for the super chat. Stephanie! <laughs> Stephanie! <laughs> Mom, I'm scared. Same. Same, girl. What the fuck is this? We could just leave this up on this. This screenshot is better than this whole video. Dog shit on bread. My dog wouldn't eat that shit. <laughs> Actually, probably would. What am I saying? As long as I didn't cook it. Hates my cuisine. Love everybody else's. I'm just butt hurt. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Sparkly Sprite Pondu, thank you for the super chat. Are you talking about the naked and playing into when? Wait, what? Are you talking about the naked and playing into weirdo? Let me try a third time. Are you talking about the naked and playing? Is that the thing, the thing, the thing that I was tweeting about earlier today? The one that was uh, like um, stroking that little freak on uh, live stream? I'm so confused. Naked and laughing? Is that the one? I don't know. She She's like a drunk and she was talking shit. I have no idea. D D Queen Cobra? She was like stroking his um, junk on uh, live stream on YouTube. 
She was talking shit about me. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> But no, that's not Ember. That's a whole other thing. Man, this I too many fights on Twitter. You got to specify. You know what I mean? I'm like, who are you talking about now? <laughs> you Jess, thank you for the super chat. Thinks she's given up now that she's got the 100K. She seems to have no steam left. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe that's what life's like when you so rarely ever have some kind of like a goal or aspiration. When you get there, you, you don't even know what to do with yourself anymore. Whereas the rest of the world would like, Okay, great. Check off, check that off and like move on to the next goal. She's got no next goal. This is the legacy. She probably never thought she'd get here. And now she's, yeah, she's like lost steam. Nobody gives a shit that she got 100K. It didn't change a goddamn thing in her life. It didn't make Sal love her anymore. You know, she didn't wake up skinny the next morning. It was all for nothing. Yes, her legacy. Polar pinup, thank you again for the super chat. Trotters like mutated gourds. It is, listen. Look at the size of it next to her face. Wicked mom, you were right. Holy shit. Why? Well, she's got a big fucking face too. That's not someone with a tiny little bird head. You know what I mean? That size of a face. And then look at the size of her hand. The fuck? I literally cannot wait. I'm not sure if I should go <laughs> the first week. Be so packed. But <clears throat> yeah. Oh, uh, Lynn, thank you for the clarification and the super chat. I didn't mean any shade by the naked and whatever. I didn't know what her name was. I've only ever seen that guy very, very recently. And only I've seen her because somebody clipped it on Twitter of her like kind of like stroking his junk through the pants on a live stream. I would have never, ever known who this person was. So I didn't know her name naked in something. Damn. Yeah, that's a good point. Face is looking that massive, and half of it is in a sort of chin and side spe side face, side cheek spanks. I don't know how you want to call that. Angel of Tempta <clears throat> Temptation. Thank you again for Super Chat. Sorry, I'm bunning, you know. <clears throat> Full moon in three days. Uh-oh. Lock the doors. All the freaks come out. I hope it comes here. She just sniffed the burger. Why would you sniff the burger? Is it is it like rancid? But she's going to eat it anyway. If she had to sniff it, it can't smell that great. Ooh. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Ramadan, she's still monetizing her gluttony. Yes, while over 1.5 billion Muslims fast, pray, and atone. Chantal, God doesn't like ugly, but you'll learn that sooner than later. Dun, dun, dun. You're absolutely right. On top of the gluttony, there's the bullshit behavior. We're going to dip into her live stream next. And she, of course jumps headfirst into the drama. She loves the drama, talks mad shit. And then like a sentence later, starts talking about like, well, that's between me and God. Is Shut the fuck up. So which one is it? Because you're not supposed to be having, let alone speaking about people like that during Ramadan. You're not even supposed to allow yourself to have thoughts like that during Ramadan. This bitch is going to burn so hot for so long in hell. All that grease is going to, it's going to be like the, the Olympic flame. That is the eternal motherfucking flame. And it's going to be her is the source. It is what it is. Hello, Nima Marie. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Who's meth head Amber? Oh, it's this bitch on Twitter. Irrelevant. But 
I just wanted to remind her because <laughs> she seems to go real nuts about it. Uh, <clears throat> she likes to talk mad shit. Talk mad shit when you haven't robbed a Wendy's for meth money. Oh, yeah. And your parents' friends has you fucking degenerate. Other than that. Oh, we're going to do hella sidebars on this Friday because our content is so garbo. It doesn't matter. We fill it up with good stuff. Uh, Salva, this might be an unpopular opinion. I know a lot of people have taken to Jessica Mesca over these years and stuff. I still don't like that bitch. Since the day she came into the community all fucked up and uh, flirting with Koki for that stupid sweatshirt and stuff, I don't care that she went to rehab. I don't care how much everyone says you changed. I don't care. There's a baseline of crazy, and it's not the fun kind of crazy. You know what I mean? To have done all of that for Koki's attention, it's giving Dee Dee in a, somehow a more psychotic way. I will never fuck with Jessica Mesca. SH, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Her head has an hourglass figure. Don't tell her that. You're going to get her ego going. Oh, my God. Something about me is an hourglass figure. <laughs> Del, thank you for the super chat. Are we throwing a 40th birthday party with all the best clips on Thursday? Oh, boy. I only ask because that's my birthday. To oh, shit. The shared birthday with the beast. Uh, uh, I don't know. Should we have a little birthday party for Chantal? Should we um, rub it in her face a little? All her worst clips? We could do that. We could start amassing some of these. Hmm. We will see. I like this plan, Del. Happy early birthday to you. Fuck Chantal. Hmm. What a shitty person to have to share a birthday with, though. Damn. X Table, thank you for the super chat. Joyful, a very delicious, we're just jealous. Absolutely. My life is pretty uneventful. I just haven't been in the mood to. I like you, DG. We usually get a lot, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. We see the same thing in people, put it that way. Mm-mm-mm. The burgers taste grilled. I haven't had a real good grilled burger in a long time. It tastes like a um, home-cooked meal. Like on the barbecue? <laughs> Yeah, flirting so hard with fucking Allah. I remember they came, they had the audacity to ask me to give her money to go to fucking Kuwait to meet Allah to do a whatever with Allah for the channel or whatever. Like I give a fucking like I'd pay for that fucking delusional. <clears throat> Sky, wait, Sky, wait, wait, why can't I say that? Sky Fierce Jean. I hope I said that right. Forgive me. Thank you for the super chat. Amber also peed on her parents' friends. Matt, did she fucking really? I'm not surprised. It sounds like something you might do on meth. Wow. Wow. Imagine doing all of that and having the face to talk mad shit. Girl, just turn off your fucking internet. For real. You don't need to be wasting that money on an internet bill. And you definitely shouldn't be on the internet. Pixie, thank you again for the super chat. To help with deposit Pondu bounce house for the 28th. Oh my god. At my mom. When I lived there, we would always barbecue. I know I keep keep quick pausing, but I, I don't care to watch Chantal tonight. Sorry, not sorry. Um, hope was so bad. Yeah, I find every time I'm like, eh, no, I don't fuck with Jessica Mesica. So many people in the chat would be all like, oh, she's not so bad now, and oh, she went to rehab, and oh, she talks to like. Oh, but she was talking to Ella and stuff like, Mike, I give a fuck. I don't care. You know, what I, I, I don't care. I have judged the character already. The person gives me fucking anxiety. I know 
stay the fuck away. That's all. Bees and let bees. Do whatever the fuck you want. But don't, I, I don't know. Some people really try to push her on people. It's weird. Like, like they forget. Like, do you not remember how this bitch came into the community taking the fucking sweater from Koki and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Sydney, thank you for the super chat. This is why we uh, know you're cosplaying, Chantal. You can't be bothered to actually practice your religion inside and out. Yeah, how is the Quran going? Exactly. Good point. I'd love to know what page she's on now. Uh, Usually like a mix of burgers, hot dogs, chicken breast. If you've never had corn on the cob grilled on the on the barbecue, I have to try it this summer. Fuck off. Fuck, I'm done with this one. Get out of here. Who the fuck hasn't had corn on a barbecue? If you haven't, like she's like, this is earth shattering news. Fuck off. We're going to watch the live stream. I, I can't deal with this. Uh, JRD Mouse, thank you for the super chat. Just bought the Baja Blast. Woo, enjoy it. Uh, Nee Marie. <clears throat> Thank you for the super chat. This Amber sounds like a real peach. Oh, yeah. She's she's a peach, all right. Real peachy. That was super boring. I'm glad we all agree with that one. Get, get out of here, Chantal. All right, next. Bring me to life, a.k.a. I'm down, y'all. I'm down and I have no energy. And I'm coming to the internet expecting the audience to hype me up. Bitch, you're supposed to be the entertainment. She always forgets that part. Mm. All right, let me get this tab. We're starting 16 minutes in because that's when this little piece of shit comes into her chat to instigate a little something, something. So here we go. Uh, what do you think about FFG dragging Shannon's husband for being racist? Hold on. Her volume is very low. So here's what we're going to do. We need to adjust. I'm putting me all the way down. Okay. I hope that's more balanced. You'll tell me. I can turn me down even more. Okay. Let's just go back a little. So, like, uh, what do you think about... FFG talking about Shannon's husband being racist or whatever. Okay, here we go. Oh, really, teardrop? Yeah, anxiety is no joke. Yo, Mama, what do you think about FFG dragging Shannon's husband for being racist? Is there a lot of immigrants in court? And does oh, like what? Like with Bo? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Yo, Mama. You just want to want talking points on the drama, don't you? I don't know. I don't really have like an opinion. Like, okay, no, I have to say. I don't care about those people whatsoever, so I just ignore, but um, I did see what her husband wrote, and I'm like 100% disgust. That's like, I can't even tell you how disgusting that is. Like, he basically called, like, I don't know which race he was referring to, probably Middle Eastern people, by saying they're sandal wearing goat. All I'm saying is that if he said that to Salah's face, he wouldn't have one anymore. You're a cuckold if you let your wife kiss another man and grind on him. That's just. You're an idiot. People who are that, like, say racist things like that against other, uh, they just, they have no brains. They have no brains. Uh, well, yeah, why don't you stay on topic? You were asked the question, why have you gone off to cuckold and letting your wife grind on another man? Do you not remember what your husband was doing a couple of months ago? And probably now also, it's just, you know, you don't know what's going on now. I really wouldn't be talking about anybody else's situation if I was you. RH, thank you for the super chat. I don't know. Don't forget the bomb making. Oh yeah, bomb. Oh yeah. So yeah, probably yeah. So disgusting. It's so disgusting. It's like just whatever. I wear sandals and I'm white. <laughs> exactly. And who was that one? The Unabomber was white. So eat crap. And as I'm saying that during Ramadan, it's after fasting hours. So eat it. <clears throat> I've had like you need stuck in my head for three days. Thank you. <laughs> it was disgusting and wild. Yep. What a stupid kid just named off like every stereotype and thought it was probably funny. <laughs> most people put any posted on Facebook, like most people post like quotes like, you know, live, laugh, love kind of thing, you know, with butterflies. I tell you, cuckold is called the youth. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah, basically, if you watch your wife um, grind on another guy and kiss him. Yeah, Ava. <laughs> what about it? If you catch your husband talking all the things that yours was, 
<laughs> we won't finish that sentence either, eh? Chantal, you really, really should not be talking about anyone else. Anyone else's real marriage. Because yours is fake. And you have a fucking weird scat man who hates your guts and would cheat on you with anything. And not only cheat on you, he would drop kick your fat ass out of that fucking apartment so fast if he could replace you with someone else dumb enough to make him papers. But not too many are as dumb as you, huh? Yeah. Shh. Shut your face. Del, thank you for the super chat. Oh, it's coming, girl. It's coming. <laughs> exactly. But even more racist towards First Nation people. There's a serial killer that targets them in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Oh, probably Linda. Immigrants do not get everything handed to them coming into Canada. Yeah, if you're mad at immigrants taking your jobs, probably because you're not qualified, you bum. Uh, I'm sorry, I have trouble holding my tongue. <laughs> That's why you said the super chat, your mama, isn't it? <clears throat> come here and say all those things come here and say all those things to a, a middle eastern person i dare you you don't have the balls you don't it's ramadan let's behave okay yes let's behave <laughs> apparently he doesn't want to the blue pillow yeah it's back here i'm covering it immigrants do the worst jobs that people don't want to do but get sick for it it's always the people who are not qualified and like have no qualifications for work who blame the immigrants for taking their job. No, blame yourself. <sighs> oh yeah, her favorite. But you didn't have a job. Pete's didn't have a job. And Koki didn't have a job. And Didi lost her job. And uh, who else? Who else is unemployed? Everybody in your whole fucking entourage is unemployed. <laughs> You're picking on one person in the entourage for being unemployed? You can't get a job. Well, what's up with that? You call this you call this a job, and that's pathetic, yeah? Your entire corn fed corn bread entourage is it's the same situation, okay? For word creepy, eh? Anyways, if I were them, I would just stay offline. But it's none of my business. <clears throat> if I was them, I would stay offline. Your fake husband hates you, wants to grape women, hates women. Western one specifically wants to do nasty things to Bibles and shit and has a scat fetish, just not with you because you sicken him physically. I would stay offline if I was you, dumbass. Look at you, the most pathetic, disgusting pick me that's ever lived on this planet Earth, talking about who should and shouldn't stay offline. If you wanted to go back to scat man, like we all knew you would because, you know, desperate, you should have stayed offline. Not too many people would have made the choice you did. And also, had the fat forehead to keep, you know, this channel going. I would stay offline. Jeepers, mister, you're really creepy. Thank you for the super chat. You like misbehaving? More tasty restaurants for the immigrants. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I don't like about Cornwall. It's too white. <laughs> you know? Actually, the best restaurants in Cornwall are from non-white people. They're from Greek people. Philos, Greek owners. Louis Pizzeria, little cute Greek man. <laughs> he's so short, but he's so nice. Um, Louise is a rundown dump of a shithole. And if you think that's the best of corn, it truly does tell you all you need to know about the corn. But I do love that you love the Greek people the most. <laughs> Bitch. Soulless, thank you for the super chat. Salad couldn't even beat his own meat. Never mind a dude. You said it. You said it. <laughs> now that would be one hell of a fight that's like i don't even know who to put my money on i think i'm gonna keep my money in my pocket because like yikes <laughs> greek man king george greek restaurant there you go yeah i have some candles from fake ones <clears throat> crime scene and that's a killer edition and head detective <laughs> Uh, I don't mean cute as in like good looking, but you know what I mean? Like teddy bear cute kind of, <laughs> like that, that kind of cute. <sighs> fly, wait, fly by night, Miriam Glutton. Thank you for the super chat. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yes, Adrian, remember her? Remember her saying that? That was her. That was all Chantal all the way. And now she has so many opinions. They're all the fucking same. I swear to God, that corn brain, man. It's not for nothing. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Can we know what page she's on? It's private. 
It's between me and God. <laughs> mm, diversity is delicious, yeah. Thank you, banana. <clears throat> yeah, them for sure, Stanley. I agree. Elemental, I have not watched it, no. I haven't watched like a new Disney movie in a long time. No. Um, Beetlejuice 2 is coming out. Is nobody excited? Hello, have you not seen the trailer? It's about immigration, really? My birthday. Oh my God, Dolly. Ha, thank you for the super chat, girl, savage. I want to take me out anywhere I want to go eat and stuff like that, but I don't know. I have to think. Lies. Salon wants to take me out anywhere I want to go to eat and stuff. No, he doesn't. He doesn't want to be seen with you. Fuck. What are you going to go on another rainy day or another uh, random time when there's no people at all out on the street? He just wants to take me out so bad to eat you guys. Yeah, he's just He's not fed up at all, wasting all his money feeding you. No, 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 no. Just take you out for your birthday. You're so dumb. You're so dumb, Chantal, for real, for real. Everybody knows he's not licking your ass for your birthday, okay? He would be, maybe if you had played it a little more hard to get when the whole scat story came out. Eight hours later, you were already licking the scat right off of his bum. There, he doesn't, he's not doing shit, man. He knows exactly. Uh, this bitch, she's always going to be hanging around me. He it's over even if before there was a little bit of like fake nice nice or whatever done think about it your job <laughs> but you're right it is <clears throat> crazy please focus your time on your child and not play tv she can do nothing for you in life invest in your child yeah really this loser makes fun of me every time i go live okay you should be thanking me you should be thanking me for paying your bills and affording you to take care of your child and take them to disneyland with my content you're welcome jay leno shannon talks about She's talking about that breezer bitch. And you know, I'm not defending that one. I don't like that one, okay? However, you're going to talk about people and uh, thanking you for playing their lives and blah, blah, blah. She'll tell you, you get like 5,000 views a video. Nobody has to thank you for shit. And the nerve of you to talk about people doing things for clout off of you. What fucking clout? Damn. So much trash about your supposed financial support. So I guess she's been supporting her husband this whole time. Democracy. Thank you, Yo Mama. You're right. Yes. This is it, Yo Mama. They're all hypocrites. We've been saying this and it just keeps coming out and coming out. Yes, yes. Okay, like, happy birthday, SVP. Listen, I, the things I could tell you about their relationship, I'm not gonna lower myself to that level, but they have some nerve. Yes, they have some nerve. Like, you're gonna talk about my husband, what he did. He didn't even cheat in real life. You cheated on your husband at least two times that I can count with Andre. What about Andre? Yeah, so can it. You had a whole ass affair. What are you doing? You stupid fuck. You know, Chantal, you're so disgusting. What are you talking about Shannon's marriage and shit right now? Talking about things like her husband's not on uh, YouTube and shit like that. Certainly whatever's gone on between them wasn't played out on YouTube. Your fucking weird freak fake husband scat fetish did kind of play out on YouTube. You have some fucking nerve to be talking about what other people are doing and stuff. Look at what you went back to. You sad, pathetic pick me. Nothing that anyone has ever done on this planet to a mate even can compare to you and Scat. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I just called him Scat now instead of salad. <laughs> it works. Most pathetic thing I've ever heard. I would not be talking about. You should be so lucky. And the only reason he didn't actually cheat on you and it was only online as if what? That's like fake real life, you weirdo was because Kai Bella wouldn't go to Kuwait. He was trying to get her to go there. Remember that, dumbass. While you were getting high and stuff in your face in Cornwall. Kim T, thank you for the super chat. She she really is so done, but she's the only one who doesn't see it. Uh, Rabbit Rabbit Sugar, thank you for the super chat. Imagine Nixing demanding thanks for the Washington, right? Right? Crazy. Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat. Happy Friday to you, foodie. Yeah, she's living the dream and we're all just jealous. <laughs> Sarah Bear, thank you for the super chat girl. Her husband took her out in the rain when no one was around and she doesn't get he's embarrassed to be seen in public with her. Wow, she can't read the blatant signals, right? Right? Like when her fake husband fat shamed her to Kai Bella, but no, none of that was real, right, Chantal? <laughs> you kicked your husband out. Like... Anyway, 
some guy she was on with. I already talked about this a while ago. Like, whatever. Okay, I'm just giving it right back to her. She talks about my relationship, so. For six hours on her anniversary, and I never said anything about that. I never, I never talk back to these people compared to what they say about me. <sighs> Lord, God, give me strength. <laughs> yeah, that's easier said than done, Robin. You try being in my shoes and having these moron hypocrites come after you in every way. They are horrible, illegally blonde. Uh, he's such a loser. Solis, thank you for the super chat. I bet they planned that before she went live. She's like, I want to talk about the drama, but I can't just bring it up. Is Ramadan. So he's like, don't worry, don't worry, I got you. And he comes in, and he drops that super chat, like, egging her on to talk about the tea. And she goes, oh, you mama, you only say that to get me to talk drama. As if she doesn't want to. How long has she, she changed the subject? She was talking about that fucking Beetlejuice again. And then went all the way back to Shannon and her husband and this and that. <laughs> she wanted to talk about this today, but she didn't want it to come off as like, it's coming from her, you know? No, no, blame your mama. Hi, Rose. Wife swap? No, I would never do it. I have seen it, yeah. You know what kind of person she is, Chantel? We all know someone like that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. If I've been friends with this person for like years, and like, because of that, I don't like to talk about her like online that much, you know, but like the things she said about me and <clears throat> my situations have been disgusting and like just making up things about the past. I don't know. Just stupid. Oh, and again, what you're the victim? Shannon came to the internet for no reason at all to talk shit about you. You remember Chantal high on cocaine, throwing Shannon under the bus and the story about her uh, kid's graduation. And then the, the fight that it caused between Shannon and her kid and stuff. That kid, by the way, that, Chantal held as a baby in her arms before Shannon even did. Yeah, that kid. Like she said, they've been friends for all these years and blah, blah, blah. Then Shannon started coming at her. Shannon didn't like have a, a channel or nothing like that. I'm just, I'm just pointing this out, right? But now, two years later, she's trying to plea the victim. Shannon just came at her for no fucking reason. Fuck off, Chantal. You don't get to rewrite history on this one either. So yeah, she has nothing interesting. Yeah, I know. He nearly hit someone else's wife over a wet floor. Oh yeah, I saw that one, Talia. <laughs> like, like full out almost DV moment. So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. But wife swap is like, I don't know, it's so weird. Of course she doesn't want to do wife swap. If she did wife swap, her husband would see number one Oh, this is what it's like to have a wife, like, doing stuff. You know what I mean? Shared uh, tasks and, like, I don't know. And number two, he might try to, you know, cheat on Chantal with her. Probably would. He'd be talking nasty things and running around the house going, I worship your ass. <laughs> the poor woman, like, opens the door. He's hiding in the dark. Like, I worship your ass. Oh, no, I don't think I would ever do wife swap. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's still cheating. It does hurt. She opens the fridge to get like a Coke Zero. He's fucking like crouching, like like a like a knot in the fridge. She opens the door. He's just like, kiss me. Twelve hours. For sure, you know. But I think there's levels. Like if somebody was just caught texting somebody versus if they had a baby with someone, would that not be a lot worse? You know what I mean? Like, no, that would be uh no. I saw the L. That would be like get me my shovel. No. Mom is like in time with value for 300 cents. So wanting to take shits on people, that's okay. But if your fake husband had had a kid with someone else, that would be get me my shovel. Of course that would be the get me my shovel. Because you can't offer that to him, can you? That's your real button. Everything else is forgivable, but a kid? Get me my shovel. Girl, you can lift a shovel, have her. Seconds. <laughs> Why? She, she, I don't even see her here. There's one creator who stalks her. Who? Me? You can forget, but you don't have to forget. Yeah. Well, the Christian crazy one. Yeah, the crazy lady. I'm very, yeah, I, I'm jealous too. I used to be a lot more jealous. But yeah, I am too, Sheree. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> Whatever. All I'm saying is her relationship is far from perfect. She has no business coming from mine. 
characters are turning into love. So uh, with her logic as usual, you have to have a perfect relationship to come for hers. <laughs> no, 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 fake wife of scat man. That's not how that works. Anybody can come for your weird fake marriage to a scat man. Freak, incel, floppy tit, big birthing hip having, um, I, I don't know, bad hairline, bad at shaving his beneath the equator hairline, just useless unemployed fuck of a fake husband is that enough i hope that was enough oh yeah and he's ugly well calls themselves to call you up for the same things they do they always did yeah they always did i was like anyway whatever french once you destroy the trust it's done yeah I get that. I get that. I get that. Not many people. Some people do move on. Some people don't. Um, you know, but how I deal with it, I just don't talk about it publicly. There's no way you can do that and still make your relationship work. So maybe Gal is in the water box. We have a box. <laughs> I just want to keep laughing at her because you're stupid. It's too late to keep things behind the scenes with your scat man and shit. Once scat comes out, like we don't care what you hide behind the scenes. Fuck you, fuck him, and everything you don't want us to know. I, I don't need to know anything else about either one of you. <laughs> He's a freak. You're a desperado. But I need another word. I don't know. I what's what's after desperate? What's like the lowest desperate word you can come up with? Because that's what that is. He wants to shit on randos, but he finds her so repulsive he can't even get his shit boner up enough to shit on her. What? Well, give me a word for that one. Desperate doesn't feel like enough. Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat, girl. <laughs> Are her decorations falling down? Oh, oh shit! I didn't even notice that. You're right. That's a shame. <laughs> Box of Aquafina, and she is in it, sleeping. The Nick, the um, it's just like a box in the middle of the floor, and I can't move it now because the minute it got fell on the ground, I took like I took all the water out and then kind of just like tossed it on the ground. I guess not fell. She went inside right away. Am I done with Twitch? No. I'm done with everything right now. Aquafina's made by Pussy. Where? Pepsi Cola. Oops. Oh, that's bad. Let's take the label. It was on sale. I don't know. I didn't notice. Everything is owned by Pepsi. Everything. Literally. Let's look around for something owned by Pepsi. It does seem like she is friends with Yo Mama again because she's so desperate for any ally at all. She'll always stay friends with Yo Mama and gaining ground. Oh. They don't call out her animal abuse. So, you know, she's cool with them forever. Candle, are you on by Pepsi? I swear, my medication is probably on by Pepsi. AstraZeneca. <laughs> It is hard to boycott everything because everything is owned by everything. And you know what? We usually buy local water, but this was like for Ramadan, it was on sale. So, but I guess uh, now I know. <sighs> yeah, we definitely have some products that I'm sure I don't even know. I haven't eaten at McDonald's though, or a Burger King or Starbucks, the really big ones. Yes, you did. <laughs> are you forgetting your time in Canada or did that not count too? I know you got high and you fucked around and you hung out with Pete's and you did everything. <laughs> but you were at the Starbies and you said you got so many um, gift cards for Starbucks for Christmas. Remember? I remember. <laughs> Stop lying. You ate hella McDonald's, hella Starbucks, but it doesn't count, I guess, if you do it in Canada. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Boycotting doesn't solve anything. A lot of medications and vaccines. Well, I'm sorry, but I need to live. So, <laughs> this is the boop. Ironically, if she hadn't insisted on going, it's just hitting me to the Starbucks in the corn. I would have never been sure if she was at the one, uh, the the weed place, you know, the dispensary or not. From the just the shoppers drug mart, 
I wouldn't have been sure. There's a few of those around town. Who the fuck knows, you know? It was the Starbucks that gave her away. So you see, Chantal, a lesson. If you had actually stuck to something you said you were going to do ever in life, that whole weed debacle would have never been found out. I would have never assumed that, you, you know, you were in a hijab smoking weed. The Starbucks gave you away. <laughs> Dale's dead bug. Thank you for the super chat. To be fair, the and don't be annoying part of a salad fantasy request was fairly respect. I mean, yes, he's used to putting up with Chantal. I mean, maybe that's now a base request that you have for the rest of your life. I think that makes sense. <laughs> the aimbot, thank you for the super chat. We should have an everyone but Miriam birthday party and react to anything but her on that day. Ooh, I kind of like that. Only skinnies to really piss her off. <laughs> Skinnies who are married in happy marriages and not for paperwork. Fly by night, Miriam Glutton. Thank you for the super chat. She's nothing but a raging bin liner. Absolutely. No, you know what? A bin liner starts out clean. There's a moment of cleanliness for a bin liner. She is she's a vom going into that bin liner. Hmm. Cassandra, thank you for the super chat. Worse than desperate, wretched. Hmm. Hmm could work it could it could work we're gonna need new words here because desperate desperate was crack at olympics i used to call her desperado what the fuck do you even call this you know yeah. pixie thank you for the super chat despondent futile utterly dejected hoser <laughs> i like them all uh the first ones are, sound too intelligent to come from me hoser i don't know can we call it a hoser when everyone's from the states Hoser is such a Canadian thing. No. Yes. Sorry. I like it. <laughs> Cindy, thank you for the super chat, girl. Happy Friday. I'm going to make my Pepsi. <laughs> what kind of cancer does she have? Yeah, that's sad. I'm more of a Coke girl than Pepsi. Yeah, I think I prefer Coke too, Sarah. Yeah, it is crazy, Talia. Joanna, hey, girl. Got to good to see you i was browsing another channel they were so worried about you oh well thank you grandma i don't know i don't test it anymore i gotta get back on track you're making hummus shelby good luck homemade hummus is really good i made grape leaves was it yesterday or the day before again and um we gave them to the superintendent Oh, you're asking what's a hose? A hoser is an, like an idiot. You fucking idiot. You fucking go to be a hoser. It's a very Canadian thing to say. Not a Quebec thing to say, but I love that one. <laughs> glass bottles. If you live in the East Coast of Canada, they use glass bottles. Did you just hear about the attack in Moscow? Moscow, Russia? About the um, stadium? Really, Red Oto Yan? Wow, I have to look, I have to try that for sure. I know I need to take care of myself. Saying you're in Canada or in jail. Okay, look, someone else put it in the chat here. This is Pam G saying this. This is Pam G saying this. This is Pam G saying this. But this is FFG going to add to this that the entire stream she's been doing the nose huff thing. Remember nose huffing? If you've been around since Crackhead Olympics, that's what I used to call the thing she would do where she blows out through her nose. She's only ever done that in the Coke era and when she had the Rona. She had the Rona twice, in my opinion, and both of the times that she had the Rona, she was doing the nose huff thing. So which is it right now? Because it's the only times ever that I've seen her do that nose huff. Is she putting something up the nose or did she get sick again? It's one or the other. Never seen this from her before. I don't know, whatever you'd like to believe, but uh, something going on. No, that, uh, sorry, October moon. I don't mean to be like, no, I can't. The nose business is absolutely not allergies. Um, how to explain that when she did this the first time, she tried to blame the allergies. But because we've been watching this woman at the time, 16 to 18 hours a day on live stream for years, uh, that is, not at all something she did when she was like irritated at all, allergies at all. That was 100% cocaine. 
And then later down the road, I was like, ah, she does the same behavior when she has the Rona. It's definitely not uh, allergies. I me remember when she tried to blame the allergies. It was so funny. You know, I wish we could go back to crack at Olympics. Zoo flute. Thank you for the super chat to the real Aries bishes. My birthday is tomorrow. Oh, happy early birthday. Zoo flute. Have a great birthday weekend, girl. In jail for what? Like what crime did I commit? True, Sue. They don't care if you're rich or poor. Illnesses, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Will for Brimley says you should check your blood sugar. <laughs> Zoe, I'm not sure. The concert hall. Yeah, I did see that rascal. That's so sad. The world is such a. Okay, like, I don't know if she'd have like, sorry, uh, allergies like outside or whatever. What I would think is like, oh, it's the cat. However, <laughs> she had two cats for years. She was never affected like that by the cats. Not in this way, anyway. She would often like grab at her nose. It was it was a more like a, um, oh, it's hard to explain, but her hand would go to her face when she was irritated by the cat. Not that nose huff. It was different. It was like a brushing off of the nose. Um, she's not doing that now. You know, she might be irritated by the cat, but that's not what that noise is. Just sad state of crap. It's so hard to not be jaded and miserable. <sighs> Brenda, you keep asking me about Iftar. <laughs> Can you change your name to Iftar, Brenda? <sighs> I mean, I'm sad for Kate, but and don't hate me for saying this, but like, it's hard to like care about one person more than thousands that are dying every day. You know what I mean? They just like highlight the rich and famous people only. They don't care about peasants. Oh, that's interesting. I want to do a poll, okay? <laughs> I'm not even going to say my opinion because I don't want to taint the poll. I'm going to ask you guys a question about what's going on with Kate and yada, yada, yada. I, I'm very curious what you guys think. Lord Baroque, thank you for the super chat. Daintily, daintily drinks Baja Blast from Fancy Mug. Oh, I'm so jelly. Oh, enjoy it, Lord Baroque. They always say I'm going to jail. Oh, yeah. I'm going to call the Saudi prince on her and have her put away for good. You know, I have a tip for you all who are so vehemently hate hateful towards me. Don't watch me. Like, literally, live your life, man. Live your life. <laughs> cauliflower rice is okay, but it's not rice. It's like cauliflower. <laughs> just recently was ready to buy a plane ticket 2K and spent two hours at the DMV just to get an idea to find visit Gorlick Breath for a weekend. LMFAO, he turned her down with hypocrisy. <laughs> Didn't he turn her down for like a catfish he was like making up? Or no, he was cheating on her with Jessica Messica. Thank you, your mama, for the super chats. You sponsored this stream today. <sighs> I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Remember the song I Ain't Mad at You by Tupac? Anyway. Yeah, you're right. That's really pathetic. Andre Marie, the Saudi prince is very invested in the food. <laughs> yeah, really. Probably been two princes since Gina. Anyways, yeah. Fly by night, Miriam Glutton. Thank you again for the super chat. She has an olive stuck up her nostril. Can you imagine? She's trying to like, like blow it out. <laughs> Fucking nasty. Where she's just talking, live streaming, and then pew, an olive comes like shooting at the camera. Awesome. At least that'd be something. Fucking live sucks. Christy, thank you for the super chat. Hubby and I. I just had a serious conversation about the logistics of a shit boner. <laughs> Money is from him. <laughs> Thank you, husband. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay, everybody vote in the poll. Okay, I'm curious what you think. Do you give two shits about the royal family? Yes, no, or not usually, but I'm invested now in this whole fucking Kate story drama, Okay. Oh, did I not put it up? What's the matter with me? I thought the poll's been up for a minute. I pressed the wrong button. Why can't I press poll? Okay. Okay. Here's the poll that I, I thought we were about to end. Here we go. Hey, fucking hell. Yeah, you're right. That's that's really pathetic. Ew. Imagine being attracted to a man -let who talks like this and whose legacy on the internet is talking about me all the time. The most dumb petty things that like 10 minutes after i upload you could just picture up on his computer farting away ew talk about fart box 
you know what? Salah has a lot of sprays you could buy for your um, living at home bachelor smell in your bedroom there. Gorlick. I'm not being nice during Ramadan, I know. Yeah, you're not being nice. You know why? Your mother would never take you in because you disgust her too. And your stepfather hates your guts. We understand. They wouldn't let you come and stay for two weeks before you left for Kuwait. You're not being taken in. Number two, I don't see why it's a bad thing. Again, I said it a few weeks ago when you pulled this shit. I wish, uh, I wish that I could still live with my mom and that I did live with my mom. That would have been fucking awesome. I wish I had lived up there with my mom until she passed away. Honest to God. In hindsight, why the fuck did I ever move out? That's my bad. I fucked up, okay? You should be so lucky to stay that close to your mom for as, luck as, as long as you can, God damn it. And in this economy, who the fuck even wants to move away? Hmm? You're not exactly thriving on your own broke ass. So <clears throat> shut your face. Not trying to stick up for garlic bread, but it's just the obvious thing. And really, you're going to talk about what places smell like? You stink like fucking Clinique Happy and blue cheese. Sit the fuck down, heifer. Brendan B? Bre you had a basement? Wait, wait, you had a basement? What? You had a Baja Blast lemonade today. It's meh. Baja Blast lemonade? I don't know what that is. Is that just normal Baja Blast or have they, they ruined it by making something new with it? Baja Blast Lemonade? I don't know what that is. But it's too bad you didn't like it. You know, bit. These people are annoying. Well, I want to show you guys the new, the new air fresheners. <laughs> the new line of air fresheners. They smell really nice. I'm bringing them. If I ever go anywhere. <laughs> Hold on. I see a lot of you in the chat saying that Kate has cancer. How do you know? Have they said it? Or, or are you just guessing it? I don't really follow this thing too carefully. Honestly, I dipped out a few days ago. I found it boring as fuck. Um, did they say that she has cancer? Oh, it was on the news. She said it. She released a video. Wow. Oh, that is really fucking sad. She did a public announcement. Oh, it's all over the news. I haven't even turned on anything today yet. Came home, live stream. I got nothing. Mm. Luna, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Huh. That is sad. Okay. Well, thanks. Y'all are breaking the news to me. I have no clue. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Imagine talking to a man who wants to shit on people, right? <sighs> Mortifying. Oh, she did a video. She came out with a speech. Oh, now I feel like, well, it's true. Not bad. I mean, they're, they're public figures or whatever, but the way that everyone hounded her, you know what I mean? Wow. Captain Crunch, thank you for the, su the super chat. My family first arrived. What it's known now is New York. Okay. I have legit family members who fought in the Revolution War and I still care for the royal family. All right. All right. That's great. Huh. Y'all have visually inspired me to make a Baja Blast cake. Hold on. Stop the presses. What are you talking about? What is this? Baja Blast cake? What does that mean? It's going to be the color of Baja Blast? You bake it with Baja Blast in it. <gasps> hmm. I'm riveted. You can tell how much I care about the royal ca uh, family that I'm way more invested in this cake. Huh. Wait, what is this? <laughs> Official Kuwait Haram bullies. I'm here on patrol. <laughs> thank you for patrolling. Appreciate it. Uh, Brandon B., thank you for the super chat. They sell it in Kroger up here in Detroit. 100% real. Wow. That doesn't sound great. Huh. Yeah. I agreed. Hot wasabi. It's sad for anyone who has cancer. But, like, no more sad for her than for anyone else. I don't care about the royals. Yeah, that, that's a good point. This is kind of two now separate things, you know? I feel bad, like you're saying, for anybody who has cancer, obviously that really uh, burns, you know? It's more than burns. Listen, you know I'm not going there. Okay. Um, But, yeah, I don't give a shit about the royal family, but I do feel bad for anyone who has cancer. You know, that's awful. Huh. I bet you feel like shit saying she got a facelift. Who said she got a facelift? I didn't say that. Did I say that? I didn't say <laughs> what are we talking about? Have I talked about this at all? I thought she left him. 
I'm going to be straight with you guys, all right? I thought she was long gone. She had already left his ass. And now they were scrambling, trying to come up with like, oh, shit. What are we going to do? How are we going to make a video? She's gone. She's not going to do a video. I thought that's what was going on. <laughs> this is sad. I'm going to end the poll. Hmm. Oh, shit. Where's the poll? Oh, my God. We haven't done one in so long. I forgot how it works. Poll is pretty, pretty split here. Oh. Do I get to see the results? I don't have my side chat. There you go. Do you care about the royal family? No, 53%. Not usually, but I'm invested now. 23%. And yes, 22%. Interesting. I'm taking all the stuff now. I'll tell people I know you weren't talking about someone else's name. Text the last text. Okay, text, whatever, blah, blah, blah. One. Oh, the plastic surgery thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's not how I had said it. Yeah. Your first comment, but yeah, that there might've been a plastic surgery that went wrong and they had to do like plastic surgery again. And that's why it was like a double uh, recovery time. And that's why now it's taking so long. Yes. On incident. At least I didn't have a whole full, he didn't have a full blown affair or I didn't. Hi, Lavi. Do I have to pass you? I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I know right here, drop. Let us see them. They're in the other room. I don't want to wake them up. I still drink the Unima, uh, Unima table. Yeah. <laughs> Little Rebel Cat, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Where are you going out? Ghost face, exactly. Yeah. Yep. They're not car air fresheners now. I'm here for your moment sending super chats like this. <laughs> Crystal. <sighs> Anyways, I'm not the one coming for other people's relationships. They're the ones talking about my relationship all day. So I'm pointing out, like... Oh, yeah, Gemma, good point. I don't give a shit that I was making up consp making up conspiracies. Thinking this or that about what... Uh, yeah, the entire world was. Come in. It came in. Not saying they should have had to bring anything to the public, but just like with Chantal, with them too... The more you try and hide something, the more you leave people room to speculate. And when people start speculating and making up stories, oh, bitch, we go far with our stories. Like your mama super chat said that um, she talks about Salah. Her man doesn't have a job either because he's, he's, he's raging against immigrants for that. <laughs> about to cancel myself and like let's be real they killed princess diana fucking anything is possible any one of our theories or a million other things could have happened and i think we all know that okay. vicky thank you for the super chat girl oh that's so nice of you thank you so much and she's had literally several affairs on him so like legit like touchy physical ones hi lady J. Yeah, and Sam got married. Ugh. Who cares? So I'm pointing out, like your mama super chat said, that um, she talks about Salah. Her man doesn't have a job either because he's a he's. Excuse me. What did you just say? Hold on. Say that again. Everybody, listen up. I know we've tuned her the fuck out, but listen to what she just said. Watch the slip. We just heard the truth, and it's a doozy. Um, she talks about Salah. Her man doesn't have a job either because he's, um, he's, he's raging again. Anyways, I'm not the one coming for other people's relationships. They're the ones talking about my relationship all day. So I'm pointing out, like your mama super chat said, that um, she talks about Salah. Her man doesn't have a job either because he's. Her man doesn't have a job either. <sighs> Interesting. Thank you for that, Chantal. Like. Listen, we all knew that your bum ass fake husband had no fucking job, but thank you so, so much for confirming that he doesn't have a job either. I love that, Chantal. Oh, that is so great. Another one <laughs> that you're supporting. How do you support this fucking bum ass bitch? You barely make any money now. That's why you're not eating at McDonald's and Starbucks. It's not about being some fucking martyr. It's about you can't afford fucking eight dollars Starbucks anymore because you're a broke bitch supporting a floppy tit, big birthing hip having guy who is repulsed by you. Oh my God, we. Are, uh, <laughs> I love it. He doesn't have a job either. The way she whined it too. I love it. Nima Marie, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. 
I'm with you, girl. 100%. Yeah, that was a good one. That was such a good... Yeah, she always does tell on herself. But I mean, that was one hell of a slip. He doesn't have a job either. I love it. So he's, he's raging against immigrants for that. And she's had literally several affairs on him. So like legit, like touchy, physical ones. Hi, Lady J. Touchy, physical ones. Chantal, it's the same goddamn thing. Shut up. Now she's trying to minimize what Salad did. Like uh, actually having an affair. So like actually fucking is better than talking scat and talking about graping women and stuff. I'd rather just bone than hear some fucking loser talk about graping people and like coming on Bibles and stuff. You're disgusting. You should have been so lucky that he just stuck it in another bitch. No, no. Stuck it in a bitch. Another bitch implies he's ever stuck it in you. Yeah, then Sam's not married. Ugh. Who cares? Imagine marrying someone who called your kids unfortunate looking. Fabulous fabric fool. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Garlic subscribers told him to stop talking about you when he continues, but he says you are desperate. Where are they? They're there to watch him pick on me. What else is he, what else is he gonna talk about? He has a channel with over 100,000 subscribers. He gets like 150 views on a video. Like, what's he gonna talk about? It's you get like 5,000 views on a video and you're doing the absolute modest, most, most. You're trying to fight with people. You're getting into drama and shit and you're still only getting like five, 6,000 views a video. Stop talking about what other people are doing on their channel. Cause you know, when you talk about people only get a thousand views and yada, 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 you know what they don't have? A hundred thousand subs. You're pathetic. You you gotta understand ratio, the ratio, right? The subs versus views. Do the math there if you're capable of doing it. And uh you'll see that the people you talk mad shit about about their views are actually statistically doing better on YouTube than you are. So <laughs> the legacy. One answer about your expert husband. These reactions are waiting to make money on your reaction. Yeah, I know a lot of you, but guy was dating told me I was the most annoying person he ever met. That's not very nice, Blue Pot. Don't watch them or listen. Ah, uh, Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. She's trying to pretend like he's sleeping there with her. <laughs> listen to them. I mostly don't. They said they're bored with the topic, but he continues to make videos. Of course, he wants money. Maybe he can buy his mom some bras. Or get an Airbnb for his yeah, but wasn't that the whole thing? Listen, I don't believe everything that that Allah guy said, but there's some stuff he said that made sense. So one of the stories that he told was how allegedly conspiracy, whatever Salad's father had like invested into this stupid fucking perfume company. And it wasn't really to like, it's not like they're making money selling that shit, but it covers them for, uh, we have a job. Okay, they sell this shit in some little stores and blah, 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 you know? But it's it's not really doing anything. But it's good enough for him to legally or in whatever loophole they're playing in or whatever have a job. That's the story he told, and it, it does make sense because, like, how else would he, right? Catfish, <laughs> big girlfriends. Uh, yeah, I know. And he he's like one of the people who says I have no content. Like, excuse me, your content is my content. So I hate to tell ya. <laughs> Just leeches. Like, she no. calls this content. He got married and Sam is still in Twitter raging about Belinda and Owl. Yeah, a nice happy honeymoon. Didn't they say that about me? She's raging on her honeymoon. Well, what about you? You're posting pictures of your on Twitter your, uh, at the beach on Twitter, meanwhile raging against people. <laughs> Those things. We need a leech and load. Oh my gosh, yes, and zombie ones. Barracuda and Rakova. <laughs> Ew. I know I said that. I was just uh, mixing the grossest things I could think of. Because there was a barracuda in Cuba. Like I said, someone, some of your haters look like the cannibals from the wrong third. <laughs> they can't, like, they're zombies for sure. Hi, Fernanda. Yeah, we saw that. Scarlet strikes me as someone who wants to be intellectual desperately, has a faux helpful attitude, but ultimately comes across like a stupid positive statement at the end of Jared's finger. <laughs> that is so perfect, so loyal. I'm going to go from Salah's video. Yeah, he should keep making them. How do you stop sneezing? Go like this, really hard. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. People are just 
pathetic. <laughs> let's ankle fatal. Okay, let's be positive, I guess. You see, that's what I'm saying, that she asked him to come in and, like, do that super chat so she could rage. She wanted to, not rage, but, like, address the drama. You see her? Well, let's be positive, I guess. <sighs> A long sigh. She really doesn't want to. Obviously. But it's like, mm, I guess I have to. Ugh. I say Barracuda Ricotta all the time because of you. Barracuda and warm Ricotta. <laughs> Whoops. If he gets like, if he doesn't get his salad or whatever right away in the morning, like if I sleep in or if I sleep during the time when I normally give him something, he gets mad and throws his whole dish. <laughs> I have to film it. Hi, Bundy Barso. <clears throat> Feet was ruined. Because it's one of the songs I listen to at You Know Who's House. Jeez. <laughs> I have PTSD from some songs. I swear, if, you, if you've been, if you listen, were listening to music at a time when it was really low for you, and you listen to those songs again, they bring really gross feelings. Yeah, I know, Grandma. <laughs> Gee. She's talking about the weekend. Is she talking about the weekend? Because I, I agree with that. Not that I ever had like a moment with the weekend. I just find his songs bring gross feelings. The cocaine, the dre ugh. Such a fucking downer. It was perfect. That was like the soundtrack of her crack at Olympics. It just worked out so perfectly. Hate it. I love Julia. Me too. No, I just have allergies, Julie. Uh, Howie Judas. Linda Marie. Hello. Caught them by you. And I think. It oh, great. She's gone. It's the best part of the whole fucking stream so far. Look at us. We're almost at the end. I felt like, whoa. <laughs> you want to move to New Zealand Outback? I watch a lot of drama sometimes on, well, not all the time, but sometimes on TikTok about some like Australian drama. Do you guys ever watch that? It's hard being Dutch, but I always found judging others incredibly easy. Exactly. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like gaining weight versus losing it. The weekend makes <laughs> Lana Del Rey music. Exactly. I want everyone has a juicer, you know? It's a pain in the butt, too. It's distracting from your purpose. It really is. Jelly, what? Anyway, I want Subway. I mean, sub stop. I'm not Subway. Australian true crime shows. She's about to order Subway. I bet you. Is she is Subway on the? I was gonna say the block list, the boycott list. Is she not supposed to eat Subway because she's gonna eat Subway. Oh no, not not Subway. I mean, whatever. Sub, yeah, yeah, it is eating Subway. Man, she's really gonna blow through that tiny paycheck in a whole day. What a moron! You know, Chantal. Tomorrow is another day. <laughs> this, this, this is sad. This is sad. Yes, yeah, she just ate, but it's payday. She, <laughs> you remember back in the days that when she was cracked out of her mind? It's payday, and she's like, "Boom, hundred dollars, Greek food right now, payday." Like. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's no throwing down a hundred dollars on anything anymore, eh, Chantal? That's a shame. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I have no more cold water. And I'll drink comic book would be disappointed right now. Please I'm not be I'm Australian, it's beautiful here. Yeah, it is, I bet. I do speaks. Sorry, cucumber, kale, spinach, ginger, purple, cabbage, fresh lemon, parsley. <gasps> I, it tastes like crap, but I doubt it. Um, oh, yeah, that would taste weird. But I, probably, I think I would like that flavor. I know. I know people like that, Linda Marie, that like room temperature. I love it. Ice cold. I did sew some things, yeah. I fixed a couple of my abayas. I had some little holes here and there. My underdress. Because, like, under my abaya, I have this... It's pretty skin tight, but um, under my bias, I have these like this dress that's like covers everything head to toe. And like, uh, we're supposed to believe that she was like sewing things. I was just mending my hijabs and stuff. Wow. I believe it. You know what?
She's so broke. I bet she did have to mend them. But I bet she's also so bad at sewing because she's never done that before. They will pop right. The first time she pulls one of those things over her and it stretches, pop, 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 pop. All the little stitches are going to explode. Awesome. It was ripping up the shoulder. So I sewed that. I fixed Salah's sweater. You know that gray sweater he loves? Julia, I can't. They want you to rage. I might get a bit sassy, but I'm not gonna not, I'm not gonna rage over useless people. <laughs> Imagine waiting around for someone to rage. What kind of life? Like how embarrassing. I'm trying to drink one 20 ounce of water a day. Imagine running back to a man who's so sickened by you he won't take shits on you. Oh my god, how embarrassing. It's any with an L, not any with a P. Thank you for the super chat girl. It's big black market business in Kuwait and the Gulf to create shell businesses to employ yourself and others. Expats pay bribes to get on the company role. It's precarious for all involved if someone talks. And it sounds by Alice's story that that's like exactly what's going on. Yeesh. I believe it. She just slipped. She told us. Oh, yeah. It's hard to chuck hold it out. No, I can't put tuna. I don't like hot tuna. Like on a potato. I don't think so. I want to try the beans and cheese on it, though. I miss farm boy. Yeah. Oh, my God. The cheese section. <laughs> uh, do you have clothes and they buy on you? Oh, incognito type? Whatever. <laughs> they do hot cross bun price at McDonald's. Don't worry about it, Nia Marie. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Don't worry about it. Just let it go. It's Friday. Chill. You have all weekend. You know what I mean? Yeah. The mind will change. You'll be in a better mood. It happens. Where? No judgment. Hot cross buns? Pies? That sounds good. Although I don't really like hot cross buns. But yeah. I think I better go because my phone is at like maybe less than 10% and my 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 leg. The cushion move is probably the goat. My decorations fell. I didn't even notice. <clears throat> mm. And no, I'm not going to live my life checking people's incognito tabs. Where you been being Inspector Gadget? I won't live that. I would rather not be with a person than live like that. <laughs> so you're just going to let it happen. That's great. That is so great. Wow. You are so dumb, Chantal, for real, for real. You're not going to check his shit. Okay, don't check it. You know you'll find shit if you check it. That's why you don't want to check it. And that's fine. I said it before. There's always some bitches who don't want to know. And you'll baffle my mind because I want to know. <laughs> You would rather pretend it's not happening than know the truth. I, okay, dumbasses, <laughs> what can I tell you? Oh, no. She's so pathetic. This is so stupid. <laughs> Incognito tabs. <laughs> no, it's, this is so dumb. She's so dumb. How can she be so paranoid and so jealous and not go snooping through his shit? Maybe she's already done it and that's how she found stuff. And that's why she's like, you know what? I just, I can't look anymore. Well, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> On the flags. It's like a little, um, it looks like a mosque and a moon. Hi, Cherie. Yeah, I'm going to go soon too in a few minutes. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, thanks. I used to love that show. <laughs> Good night, Carrie. The little police are shut. Inspector Gadget was my favorite show. I remember watching it really early in the morning before school, eating cold cereal, Rice Krispies with banana. Ugh. That sounds good right now, actually. <laughs> but as a kid, go, go, Gadget. Say like, like, no. Good night, Linda Marie. Until next time, yes. Yeah, like. I loved Inspector Gadget when I was a kid. That shit was awesome. Comrade Kitty, thank you for the super chat. Oh. Just spent 500 bucks on my cat to get allergies figured out. Damn, that's expensive. I hope you got the answers. Um, Natalia, if you, if you have beans and cheese on a potato, you're going to need a lot of Salah's fart spray. I'm just joking. <laughs> All purpose. Egg with waffles with syrup. Yeah, yeah, I like, um, I like one tea. Yeah, early morning Inspector Gadget and Care Bears. I can hear how Inspector Gadget. Go, get you go. <laughs> Bionic swing. Anyway, I better go down. 
okay, there's like a minute left and she's not even got a minute left. <laughs> Exceptionally bad video and live stream tonight, I must say. We watch a lot of crap on this channel together, a.k.a. Chantal. But um, that bad? It's, it's, it's rare to get a video and a live stream back to back and both are good for absolutely nothing. The only thing that we got tonight was that she said her husband doesn't have a job. Thanks for letting everybody know in the community, Chantal. That was amazing. We knew, but it's always nice to have it confirmed by the pig herself. <laughs> so thank you for that one. Shukran. <laughs> I love it the most. Oh my God. Uh, no, we're not going to do a retro react tonight. This is by popular request. Uh, most people want to play the Jackbox game. Black Bear Bear, Jackbox games. We're going to go live on uh, Twitch. What is it now? It's 8.30. So in 30 minutes from now, we're going to go live on Twitch and we're going to play some Jackpot games, okay? Before we start playing, we'll do like a poll and we'll decide what game to play. Uh, and we'll do that for tonight. This weekend, however, we can do a little retro. We can do a little sh uh, lushy. And of course, it goes without saying, whatever the hell Chantal gives us with in real time, that's where we will start, okay? But I do have quite a few of the retros. We kind of just stopped doing those, and I had a bunch of them all lined up in chronological order. So I'd like to dip back in there. If you remember, the last time we went back uh, watching Chantal Retro, she had just lost her shit and shaved her head. So you know what that means. We are about to lose our channel. We're about to commit a crime almost in, in Montreal and almost get arrested for stalking. And... We are about to go to Cuba. So we got a, a, quite a few good ones, retros coming up. We should definitely get back into that. But fuck that shit for tonight. We play games. It's Friday and I want to turn my brain off. Woo! All right. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here. Sorry to cut it short on this Friday, but you know, I just want to play games and fuck shit. Oh, <laughs> it is what it is. Thank you so much for being here. Happy birthday to all the birthday weekend people. There seem to be quite a few. Whatever you are doing with your Friday nights, everybody, please have fun. Soak it all up. Enjoy every second of it. But be safe, all right? I hope to see you in 30 minutes from now over on twitch.tv slash French Fried Girl to play some Jackbox games. All you need is a phone or a tablet or some shit. Nothing to download, nothing to buy. And it is a really, really good time. If not, I hope to see you tomorrow as we continue on in Chantal. All right? Bye, guys. Have a great night.